we're back. We're back. It's day seven. Yay. Day seven. A full, a full week of this. Yeah. Yay. How fun. It's going so it fast. It seems like it, huh? I know. But then I'm like, I feel it in my hands because I'm almost caught up with my knitting. And I'm like, knit, 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 knit. I can kind of feel it. I had to quit yesterday. I, I just had to go on my walk and shake out my hands and, you know. Yeah. Have you seen that book, Knitting er Ergonomically? Have you seen that book no. by Carson? It's an American uh, physical therapist guy. His name is Carson Demers. Demers, Demers. It's D-E-M-E-R-S. And he has a book called Knitting Ergonomics or something er ergonomically. Anyway, I'll put a link down below. It's really hard to find, though. It's been sold out for a long time on Amazon. Sometimes you can find it in your local shop. But he talks about, you know, positioning and just making sure that you're not having repetitive stress injuries. You know, wouldn't that be a bummer if you couldn't knit? <laughs> Absolutely. And it happens to people. So yeah. to, And also some stretches and recommendations. Yeah. For things yeah. Like yeah, you went yeah. to the city. So, you know, I was thinking... Go, it, and it was it was all right I didn't know for sure if you were going to go or not but I have questions about driving in Australia mm. well it's really extra fun for us at the moment because our son is on what we call learner plate so we're <laughs> going yes. through that I don't know <laughs> we are too we are too and that's why I was thinking about it because uh Sundays the last few weeks Sundays we have been our practice driving days and I was <laughs> okay but first my questions are this which side of the road do you drive on in Australia? We are on the left side, so opposite to you. Okay, but okay, but which side of the car do you sit on as the driver? The right side. The driver's side is the right side, so opposite as well. So you're like England. Yeah. Or well, they're That's like us. Okay. <laughs> Here's what I don't understand about the logistics of that. If I'm sitting in the car, regardless of which country I'm in, I'm if I'm if I'm in Australia or the UK or whatever, and I'm sitting in the car and I'm on the left side of the road, but I'm sitting on the right side of the car, then as a human being, I am close to the center line, correct? And so is the other person. So if we get in a crash, the two of us are like close together. How come we don't sit on the opposite side? Why don't we sit on the same side of the car as we drive on? For example, if you drive on the left side of the road in Australia, why don't you sit on the left side of the car? So your physical body is the furthest mm. away as possible from the other driver. Mm. Good question. And I'm sure there's a correct answer. I don't have one, but I'm guessing that maybe it's because it's instinctual for the driver to self-preserve. So... Oh, maybe your passenger would be expendable. But but we were I was thinking about that today and we were having driving practice with my daughter because we live on a farm, we have plenty of room. So we put up some buckets like I was simulating a parking space and like she has to pull in without hitting the buckets or she has to go forward and then back in without hitting the bucket. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. And it's good knitting time though, really. Like, you know, the glove, the glove compartment on the side of the passenger side, you have a little box, a little hatch yes. there, don't yeah. you? That's perfect for like holding your yarn and your pattern. You can prop up your stuff. Do you do that? It's not that relaxing for me, I have to say. <laughs> um, so in, a, in Australia, they don't get their license until they're 18 here. So that's a difference. Um, and Felix, he loves driving. He was driving, so from the age of 16, you can get your L plates and then you have to do 120 hours before you can get the license, before you can get provisionary license. And that's all tracked on an app. So you have to record, which is great, really is. Yeah. Oh, it is, um, that's fantastic. You have better drivers he, than we do, I bet. Yeah, well, he, he's actually a really good driver. We had bought him a little car to um, do some rally driving in when he was about 15. I was oh. really into that. And so Andy would take him out to dirt tracks. I was too frightened to go. There's no way I could go. And they would, he would do 360 donuts and <laughs> crazy <laughs> stuff, <laughs> crazy. Yeah. So he's got great control of the car. It's just the part where we get out on the road with all the other cars and we're going 100, 110 kilometers an hour, which is 
I don't know what that is in miles. I don't know. I'm gonna guess. Let's see. Sixty-five. So that's sort of the main when you're um, on yeah. the freeways. Yeah. So changing lanes and weather conditions and Andy yeah. <laughs> usually sits in the front and I sit in the back and try and knit, but I'm also kind of <laughs> grabbing onto <laughs> the <handle. laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, and I would hate that. I would not even go because sitting in the back, I get car sick. I have that motion sickness and uh, no, no, <laughs> I couldn't do that. Yeah. yeah, so he's getting better though, but he does like to go fast so and <laughs> feels very confident given that he does have the that ability but not necessarily the experience on those roads right so that's right and really my daughter cool. it's so funny when because <laughs> like i said we live on a farm so she can put or you should you know da, 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 she puts around okay so if it's like 30 miles an hour right not fast at all <laughs> and no one's <laughs> meeting <laughs> yeah and that's fine <laughs> <laughs> but but when we get on the highway, I'm like, she's still doing that, like 30, 35 miles an hour. And I'm like, you have to go faster. She's like, no. And I'm like, yes, you have, you have to, because someone's going to come up behind you. She's like, and she's like, <laughs> like you have, you got to go. You're, you're a hazard if you go too slow, right? She's like, oh my goodness. So it's the so opposite cool. because, yeah, I'm totally. like, go slow up. Go slow up. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm glad you had a fun time though, or not so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. So, sitting in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we caught Sunday Fun Day. We've been going to Melbourne quite a bit on Sundays while Felix does a course. Yeah. So we drop, take him and drop him off. Sometimes he goes by himself. Um, but the public transport here is a little bit tricky, so it's better if we just drive him. Um, right. And then it's fun for us just to kind of go into the city and do an city afternoon. things. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have an. How was your afternoon. weekend? Oh, oh it's still is... it's Sunday afternoon here, so we're a little behind. But it's but it's okay. It's oddly warm. I had a photo on my Instagram yesterday about just my walk, and it was so warm, and it was kind of kind of weird excuse me kind of weird about that i've been knitting a lot trying to get caught up on my blocks my squares oh, i'm yeah. looking forward to seeing those yeah so i'm yeah i'm doing pretty well i have uh block number five is drying on the blocky mat and block six i have probably 10 rows left maybe Ooh. maybe 10 rows left on block six yeah. and since you're still on day six yeah. there right I'm. If I might have it done before I go to bed, and then I might even cast on number seven. So we'll see. But we'll have to open it first. So. Yeah. Yes. And did you get some some knitting done while you were <laughs> dressed out in the back seat, or <laughs> um, not so much? <laughs> I was in the front on the way there. So we. Yeah. Um, I did. I finished the sleeve. So I finished that sweater that I was making and started a Kensha hat, which is a mosaic. Oh yeah. I've made a few of these. I love making these out of scraps of advent kits. Like it's yeah. really fun for the contrast. But I may I've designed a cow pattern to go with this. So I thought I'd do a hat in the matching colours. So yeah. I'm just doing a little matching hat to go with that. And I noticed yeah. you're wearing wearing your red vent cardigan oh, that was knitted. Cardigan. Yep, knitted in the same colorways that I'm using. Yes, that's right. Yeah. I forgot about that. So uh -huh. let's see that. Lovely. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's actually quite cold here. So we were just talking about the weather before, <laughs> and it's pretty much the same for each of us. It, our... it is the same temperature right now for you at on sun on monday morning that it is for me on sunday afternoon it's the same temperature where and you're like it's cold and i'm like it's warm <laughs> but it's the same temperature either place <laughs> it's just funny but but i will say it's much more humid where you are and so that can feel you know that can feel colder when you're at the coast and it's more humid than if mm. it's a dry yeah then it's dry here yeah so, but we were really saying that it's yeah. yeah yeah and it's what 56 57 degrees fahrenheit which is right now yeah and the yeah. forecast is for 
17 degrees Celsius, 62 Fahrenheit today. So we'll get a little bit warmer. I, yeah. And you were, I was saying that's really warm and you're like, but it's the beginning of summer. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> so you're, you want it to be, yeah. But warm it's very up, warm yeah. for December here. It's a little concerning. We haven't had nearly enough snow. There's hardly any in the mountains even. So mm. that's, that's weird. Okay, I'm excited to see what's coming after your lemon, no. your lemon quartz. Well, should I go next or are you, yes. I can't remember no. whose turn it is. It doesn't matter. I want to see what comes <laughs> after lemon quartz. All right, I've just had a little peek at the stone name. Are you going to tell so, us that first or not? Day seven. I don't think I will. I think I'll open it. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So this is topaz. Wow. Yeah. That's neat. I I just love the tonal, you know, within within a skein. So that's beautiful. Much more gold than the uh -huh. yeah, it the has some of the lemon it lemon streaks in it with the gold, kind of variegated together. Yeah. Yeah. And then ties in with that. Hmm. Wonder, huh? What's exciting? Tomorrow, tomorrow will be interesting to see what I next. know. Hmm. <laughs> to, like, Where are we going? Peek at the, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the gonna stones tell, ahead. Gonna tell us, she's not going to tell us the name of the stones ahead. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> All right. So today is day seven, and there's our label for day seven: sparkly paper and. A candy cane and a oh, one little of those round, lollies. you know, those little round yeah. peppermint yeah. candies. Yeah, they hand them out at restaurants a lot that have the the red and white swirl. Mm -hmm. They kind of taste like a peppermint or a, like a, a candy cane kind of. Do you like candy canes? It seems like people I love, really I love like peppermint. Them. It's my favorite flavor, actually. <laughs> one of my favorites. Oh, do you okay. like them? Oh, yes. Like, I like the yeah. little mini candy canes. The mini candy cans, you just kind of put the whole thing in your mouth and it's like, you don't have to hold it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want a whole box for my, for Christmas. I asked for a whole box of, a whole box of the little minis. There's like a hundred of the tiny ones. Oh, it's funny. Or you could just <laughs> buy them for decorating the Christmas tree with. Then you would. I could. I just want to eat them. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wait, wait till after Christmas when they're like 80% off. Yes. I might have to turn on my light. Like it's hard. It's kind of dark in here actually, but this is color number 24. <clears throat> and I don't know if you can see, mm, yeah, it's just dark. a lovely. Yeah. So that would be around about here. Yes, oh, it is char kind of a charcoal color and it's called, I'm finding my card here. I have it tucked well, back here. No, yeah, it would be here. Yeah, it, uh -huh, it's called shale. Yeah, this is very dark. It's almost a charcoal. Yeah, I like. I really like it. That's gonna be neat. Yeah, it. Yeah, it would be on the end of your sleeve there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's here. Right in the beginning. Uh huh. Well, twenty-five colors, so twenty-four is here. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. And I have one with my hair. Yeah, in so this it's one, a little so. bit lighter. It's a little lighter. Maybe it looks on the mm. sweater might be a, little, a hair lighter just because of the influence of the mohair that you held it with. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So um, we we have a special special guest video that was pre-recorded today. Do you want to tell us about that? Uh, we've got L, who is okay. also Kansas Jayhawk on Ravelry, and also Stella Yarns on Etsy. She's a yarn dyer too. Okay. And Great. she's a moderator in the group and. Mm -hmm. It's just wonderful. And so you'll get to meet her and hear about a really special project she's involved in each Christmas. So it's a charity thing, but very, oh, it's wonderful. It'll be, yeah, so enjoy watching that. And before we go, one more thing. I'm going to ask a question. Uh, when I post this video in the day seven thread, I'll ask a question with the post that will relate to something in my side of the world video. So you watch the video and and, right. um, and the answer 
to the question will be there somewhere. It won't be too easy. And we just want to make sure people are watching and paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> or it's an, I called it an Easter egg. I gave a little hint earlier in the thread and said, watch out for the Easter egg in, in our video today. Um, just to try and, yeah, have some fun ways of giving out prizes. So the prize for the first right answer will be one of my, my, um, oh, yeah, send me a photo. That'd amber be great. Pins. Uh -huh. Yeah. Lovely. So enter to win one of those and maybe it will make it to your tree in time for Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, you might have something to unwrap or maybe not because the postage is pretty slow. Yeah. But anyway, there'll be a winner. So look for that in Amba's uh, day seven thread and look for it in my day seven thread, which will be later than yours. <laughs> Right. Except we so, won't have posted the video. I won't post the question until we post this video. So it'll be right, about the same. Correct. Oh no, it will correct. be later. What time do you open yeah. your threads in, Whenever in I the get morning? Up. After I yeah. get done with my chores. <laughs> Whenever I so get back in the house from the barn and then get back in my seven chores. Seven hours yeah. after this video goes to air, maybe. Yeah. Because I have the video air at a midnight mountain time. I have it pre-scheduled to go live at midnight mountain time. And then I'm usually not back in the house until mm, 7.30-ish. And then I open the thread. I wish Ravelry had a way for me to schedule that, but yeah. Yeah, that would be handy, wouldn't it? I know. I know. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I, the answer for either giveaway, the answer will be the same, but the prizes are different. So you'll just have to come look. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. So yeah, introducing L, and we'll be back tomorrow. Excellent. See you then. Hi everyone. I'm Kansas Jayhawk. I also go by L. I've been knitting in Amba's Advent Knit Along since the very first year, and I spent so much time chatting in the forums that she asked me to help moderate. So I'm here as a co-moderator, but first and foremost, I'm here as a knitter and a friend. I've had such a wonderful time meeting people from all over the world and making new friends with every Advent Knit Along. I love Advent so much that last year I was actually able to participate as a Yarny and dye up my own Advent kits. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, this year some of us Yarnies had a little bit of trouble procuring yarn earlier in the year, so I wasn't able to dye up Advent kits. But I still wanted to give back to the Knit Along and donate a prize. So this year I was still able to dye up these four skein mini kits their fades and this one is kind of an emerald teal green and the minis are a little chubbier than your average mini at 109 yards each so at a total of 436 yards you could knit up a pair of faded socks a cowl and maybe even a small shawl i also am throwing in a waxed canvas project bag by fringe supply company it's big enough for a cowl and a pair of socks so that's the prize I'm donating this year. If you had your heart set on it, but didn't win, don't worry, check out my Etsy shop, Stellar Yarn, and there might be a couple of, left, of them left. So the biggest annual tradition in my town of Lawrence, Kansas, is the annual Festival of Trees. Every year, donors from around the region decorate and donate trees and wreaths that are put on display in the first week of December at our local Liberty Hall Theater. At the end of the week, all of the trees and wreaths are auctioned to benefit the local children's shelter. During the week, there are other events as part of the fundraiser, like Cookies with Santa, where children get to come and sit on Santa's lap and have their photos taken, and a couple of parties. All of this is a huge fundraiser for the children's shelter. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, things have changed a little bit. The cookies with Santa and the parties had to be canceled, but the trees and wreaths were still decorated, although everything's being auctioned online. But I still wanted to show you how beautiful this event really is. So we're gonna cut over to Liberty Hall and peek at some trees. Okay, here we are in beautiful Liberty Hall. Here's the wreath wall, or at least some of the wreaths. There are 26 wreaths this year. 
They are split between this entryway and another wall inside the auditorium. Normally there are hors d'oeuvres and other things against the wall, but since viewings are limited to 10 people at a time, COVID has changed that for us this year as well. So here are the other wreaths. They're not normally against this wall. This wall normally has hors d'oeuvres. And there are all the trees. Lawrence is an arts town, so we encourage our donors to make their trees artistic and a little outside of the box. Lawrence is also a literary town, so there is our book tree that we see a version of very frequently. Each tree is marked with a sign that has the title and the donor's name. Usually the auditorium is quite full, but unfortunately because of the pandemic, it's really affected how many people we could have in here. The main stage is where we normally have Santa's chair. Thanks for joining me on this very quick tour of the Festival of Trees. I'll see you all in the forums.